For years, emergency departments in the United States have suffered from severe overcrowding. Overcrowding that has affected both patient safety and quality of treatment. But what exactly is emergency department overcrowding? Well, it's an extreme excess of patients, and in a lot of cases of overcrowding, not only is the emergency department full, but patients have started for hallways and other available spaces. It's unorganized and dysfunctional, and it's this dysfunction that leads to longer wait times, poor patient outcomes, treatment errors, the spread of infectious disease, and most concerningly, the loss of lives. In 2006, extreme overcrowding resulted in about 13 excess in hospital deaths each year. And according to the Heart Corporation, about 20,000 Americans will die in a single year due to the errors caused by overcrowding. Preventable errors. Fortunately, experts have been searching for solutions in radio frequency identification technology or RFID has been a front runner. First used in 1970, RFID technology has transformed the retail industry. Corporations like Walmart have seen a constant rise in net sales since it first implemented RFID in 2003. In the retail world, RFID makes it easier to locate stock, deliver timely shipments, and cut down on costly data errors. So, what is RFID technology? Well, RFID is a form of wireless communication. Basically, an RFID tag is attached to a person or an object. This tag then emits a signal that is received by a reader that identifies the information. For example, an RFID house key will send a signal to a door to unlock it without the need to actually place a key in the door. Because enterprises like Walmart have seen a reduction in costs and increased efficiency, healthcare has started to use the technology. At the moment, hospitals use bracelets with barcodes on them. These barcodes are scanned by staff and require a direct line of sight for use. Unfortunately, a barcode can only hold a little bit of information, like name and date of birth. But an RFID chip and a thin bracelet requires no physical scanning and it can hold much more information, like name, date of birth, allergies, medical history, and much more. At times of chaos, the ability to access a patient's entire portfolio in seconds may be the difference between life and death. How does RFID affect patient safety? In 2004, a study was conducted and found that patients with an RFID device had shorter wait times than those without the device. Because the device makes healthcare more efficient, patients can be treated faster, which reduces the risk of a worsening medical condition. In 2012, Prez performed a similar study to look at how well RFID can prevent adverse events. An example of an adverse event would be going to the emergency room with a broken arm and walking out with an infectious disease. According to Perez, most adverse events occur during the medication stage of treatment. The distribution of medication works its way through three or more medical personnel. So as expected, human errors are pretty common. But because RFID has the ability to cut down on these human errors, Perez found that the technology reduced the number of adverse events. It's clear that RFID technology has its benefits for both the patients and the department. So why hasn't it been universally implemented? To start, RFID is expensive. 
RFID tags can be disposable or reusable. Reusable tags cost more and require a strict cleaning schedule, but the costs of disposables begin to add up as well. They can also be either passive or active. An active tag has a battery, which means it has more strength and a longer range. A passive tag does not have a battery and instead waits for a signal from a reader. Because active tags are more expensive, passive tags are the most common. Because there are so many different types and options, prices vary from $0.04 cents to $50 per tag. But an entire system includes more than just the tag. A complete system has tags, readers, infrastructure, printers, and more. Readers alone cost anywhere from $1,000 to $3,000, and it's estimated a complete system would cost millions of dollars. The price of RFID technology is an obvious obstacle, especially for smaller healthcare systems. RFID has also run into some technical issues. The technology is not standardized. Technology is usually standardized or made uniform to allow for compatibility, interoperability, and safety. But because RFID lacks this aspect, the technologies can interfere with both each other and other objects. When the signals run into other medical equipment or metallic objects, for example, the speed and accuracy are affected. These errors put people's lives at risk and is clearly something to be addressed before its use. And finally, privacy. An RFID chip can hold a lot of personal information. And just like any technology, it has the potential of getting hacked. For the privacy and safety of patients, it is very important that RFID finds a way to become more secure. Let's look back at what we've learned. RFID technology can increase patient safety by increasing accuracy and efficiency of treatment in an overcrowded emergency department. It's clear some adjustments need to be made, but the technology's ability to save lives is pivotal.